Whenever you hear Andromeda Galaxy, the first thing that might come in your mind is of the galaxy that is closest and in the path of collision with our Milky Way galaxy. But do you know what lies within the Andromeda Galaxy? What kind of black holes are located there? What are globular clusters? How chemical composition works in spiral versus elliptical galaxies? What are satellite galaxies? What is the role of this invisible matter? What kind of stellar formation does this galaxy have? Today in this video, we will be discovering some intriguing facts about Andromeda. Black holes. This galaxy is known to harbor supermassive black holes at its center. These black holes have masses millions to billions of times that of our sun. The supermassive black hole in Andromeda, known as M31, exerts a gravitational influence on the surrounding stars and gas, affecting the galaxy's structure and evolution. There is a thought that supermassive black holes may form from the collapse of massive clouds of gas and the subsequent merging of smaller black holes. These supermassive black holes are often surrounded by accretion disks, swirling disks of gas and dust that are being drawn into the black hole's gravitational grasp. As the material in the accretion disk spirals inward, it heats up and emits intense radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, including X-rays and radio waves. Supermassive black holes play a crucial role in regulating the growth of galaxies. The energy and radiation emitted by black holes can heat up and disrupt the surrounding gas, influencing star formation rates and the overall evolution of the galaxy. Invisible Matter the nature and distribution of dark matter within the Andromeda galaxy is not yet fully understood. Although dark matter cannot be directly observed, its presence can be inferred from the gravitational effects it exerts on visible matter, such as stars and planets. One aspect of this mystery is understanding how dark matter is distributed throughout Andromeda. Scientists study the rotation curves and behavior of stars and other objects in the galaxy to infer the distribution of mass, including dark matter. Study of this can provide clues about the presence and density of dark matter beyond what is visible. Additionally, understanding the role of dark matter in galaxy formation and evolution is a key area of research. It plays a crucial role in the formation of the large-scale structure of the universe and the formation of galaxies like Andromeda. Investigating the interplay between dark matter, visible matter, and other factors can help astronomers piece together the evolutionary history of galaxies and the universe as a whole. Stellar Formation Despite us being the neighbor to Andromeda galaxy, the processes involved in star formation are not fully understood. Stellar formation is the process by which dense regions within molecular clouds collapse under their own gravity to form new stars. These clouds consist primarily of molecular hydrogen along with trace amounts of other elements and compounds. Gravitational instabilities within these clouds can lead to the formation of dense pockets of gas and dust where star formation occurs. Within these dense pockets, gravitational forces gradually overcome the outward pressure exerted by gas and dust, causing the material to collapse inward. As the cloud contracts, it heats up due to gravitational potential energy being converted into thermal energy. This process eventually leads to the formation of a protostellar core, a dense hot region at the center of the collapsing cloud. During this phase, the protostar may be surrounded by a rotating disk of gas and dust, which provides material for accretion and may eventually give rise to a planetary system. Galactic Collision A widely known fact that the Andromeda galaxy is on a collision course with our Milky Way galaxy. 
but what will be the impact of this collision? Usually the merger process can take millions to billions of years to complete, depending on the sizes and relative velocities of the galaxies involved. During the closest approach of the two galaxies, the gravitational forces between them can cause significant disturbances to their structures. Stars, gas, and dust can be stripped away from the galaxies and flung out into space, creating tidal debris and triggering bursts of new star formation. After the close encounter, the galaxies may continue to orbit each other, eventually merging to form a single, larger galaxy. Supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies can also play a significant role in these collisions. When galaxies merge, their central black holes may also merge, leading to the formation of a more massive black hole at the center of the resulting galaxy. This sounds like one of the big events, but galactic collisions are common occurrences in the universe and their study provides valuable insights into the processes of galaxy formation, evolution, and interaction. Globular Clusters Globular clusters are dense, spherical collections of stars that orbit around the centers of galaxies like the Andromeda Galaxy. The age of the stars within globular clusters range from around 10 billion to over 13 billion years. This makes globular clusters some of the oldest objects in the universe. These clusters typically contain tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of stars, densely packed into a relatively small volume of space. These stars are tightly bound together by their mutual gravitational attraction, giving globular clusters their spherical shape. Globular clusters are typically found in the halo regions of galaxies where they orbit in a roughly spherical distribution around the galactic center. In the case of the Andromeda Galaxy, it hosts several hundred known globular clusters distributed throughout its halo. Satellite Galaxies Satellite galaxies are smaller galaxies that orbit larger galaxies like the Andromeda Galaxy. They typically have lower masses, lower luminosities, and smaller sizes compared to their host galaxies. Satellite galaxies can range in size from dwarf galaxies containing just a few million stars to larger galaxies with tens of billions of stars. Many large galaxies, including the Andromeda Galaxy, are surrounded by numerous satellite galaxies. The Milky Way, for example, has over 50 known satellite galaxies, including the large and small Magellanic clouds. Satellite galaxies can have significant effects on their host galaxies and vice versa. Interactions between satellite galaxies and their hosts can lead to the disruption and transformation of both systems, as well as to the triggering of bursts of star formation and the exchange of material between galaxies. Chemical Composition Chemical composition refers to the types and relative abundances of chemical elements that make up a substance or an object, such as stars, galaxies, or planets. These elements include hydrogen, helium, and trace amounts of heavier elements such as carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and iron, among others. Stars are primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, the two lightest elements which were formed during the early stages of the universe in processes such as Big Bang, nucleosynthesis. The chemical composition of galaxies, including the Andromeda Galaxy, reflects the cumulative contributions of many generations of stars over cosmic time. Spiral galaxies like Andromeda typically have higher abundances of heavy elements compared to elliptical galaxies indicating more extensive star formation and enrichment of interstellar gas with heavier elements. Planets, moons, asteroids, and other small bodies within our solar system and other planetary systems have diverse chemical compositions reflecting their formation histories and geological processes. For example, rocky planets like Earth are primarily composed of silicate minerals and metals, 
while gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn are primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. Hope you enjoyed learning these interesting facts about our neighbor galaxy. Please let us know which of the facts you like the most. Thanks for watching.